All right, I'm going to just teach you how to um, change the icons of the Minecraft launcher. Uh, most tutorials I have noticed just told you to right click on your original Minecraft.exe and just kind of create a shortcut and just go to properties and then just change the icon. But doing so will not actually change the launcher icons like up here and down here in the taskbar. So I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. So uh, go to Chrome or whatever, and then Minecraft.net, download, show all platforms, and you're going to use Linux or other. This does work for Windows or Mac. I am on Windows 7, so I could say that for a fact, but I don't know about Mac. Just hope it works on Mac if you're on a Mac. Otherwise, get a Windows. Anyway, so download the Linux jar, and throw it in the folder, or just on your desktop. doesn't really matter. And... Now you're going to need a archiver, like WinZip, WinRAR, I don't know, I, I use 7-Zip, so I'm going to just go to 7-Zip real fast, open that, application, oh I already have it open, alright then, 7-Zip, then you're going to open the archive, and go to net, Minecraft, and all the way down here, you're going to see a image file called fave icon, this icon will be that block or that grass block that you normally see. And I guess my computer sucks too much so I won't show the image. Okay. So now you're gonna need a picture that you're gonna want for your icon. For this tutorial I'm just gonna use this diamond. I'm gonna name it Fave Icon because it needs to replace that file. And I guess I'll drag it in here. And I will go back into 7-zip and replace that picture. Alright, you could also do the same thing for dirt, which would be where the username login is, and the actual logo, which is a Minecraft logo and text. But once you do that, you have changed the actual icon for the taskbar and um, whatever you want to call this, the Windows icon, and then yeah, so that would do that, but it does not actually change this icon. So, you're done with 7-zip or WinRAR, but now you need this to be changed. Now, if you know about or try this before, you're going to know that properties cannot change it over here, so you will need to make a shortcut like all the other tutorials anyway. But you need an icon first. So, you're going to go into here, go wherever folder, pick the icon that you use, open it, convert it and download that icon. Well, that's not my icon. That shouldn't happen. No, there's my icon. Alright. So I'll just drag this in here. Drag it somewhere where you will not delete or move that image, that ICO icon image. Because if you move this image or delete this image, you're not going to have that icon. If you do that, you're going to receive a blank image, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I don't like this. So I'm just going to name it Diamond Icon whatever, I don't care. And now you're gonna have to right click on Minecraft.jar, which is what you just changed. Create a shortcut, go to properties, then you can change your icon, go to browse, go to where you save the icon, which is here, and then open it. Okay, apply, okay, done. Now you open it, and you'll see you now have the diamond icons, as well as, I'll just show you that, the diamond icon on the desktop, or this icon, instead of the jar. Thanks for watching.